Yeah, him too. Don't look at me like that. Okay, listen. Some animes were so freaking weird, borderline illegal. I didn't realize this until I grew up. I said, up, not old. Shut up. I'm not telling you how old I am. So, let's start with Teacher Onizuka, or GTO, as most of you know it. I watched this anime when I was eight. Yes, eight. Don't blame me or my parents. They thought it was a cartoon. I know, don't get me started. But damn, this anime is so freaky. It wouldn't fly nowadays, that's for sure. I mean, there are some creepy animes out there. Anyhow, this anime is about an adult deciding to work at a high school to hang out with teenagers and peek on them like creepy dude. Yeah, who thought it was gonna be a good idea? The worst thing is, at that age, I thought he was so cool. I know, red flag alert. Because he did help his students a lot when he wasn't trying to, well, you know. I couldn't bring myself to actually rewatch the anime. I was too scared to dig out more enhanced things that were going on and uh, consider myself as a creepy young child. So, I see you're trying to click out of this video to go watch the anime. There's more coming in this video, so go after the video. Anyways, moving on. Next one is Danzo. Yep, him too. No, bitch, are you mad? I wasn't that crazy. If you actually had a crush on Danzo, how are the therapy sessions going? Are you feeling better? Next, light. I know, you think this one isn't that bad. Yeah, so did I. I thought he was so cool. He was like a hero. He was doing the right thing. But think about it. He thought he was God. Like literally. He killed whoever he thought was bad. And at the end, well, he became the monster he was chasing. Plus, look at him. Look. Ryuk actually looks less scary than him. Let's move on to one of my biggest crushes ever growing up. Ren. Damn this anime. I could make a whole video about it. I have been called calling myself Nana for as long as I can remember. My channel was actually named Nana till four days ago. My Instagram is still named Nana Artsy. But moving on, the relationship between him and Nana was the most toxic one I have ever seen, thinking about it now. But for me, it was just so beautiful. The pain makes it real. This is what a relationship should look like. Always being sad and crying and away from each other. Maybe I should have gone to therapy. Let's not think about that anymore. I don't want to talk too much about their love story because it should really have its own video. But damn, just this scene? Come on. I was 10? Yeah, I was 10. How do you think this was a good thing? To be honest, all the relationship in this anime were after. Like, seriously? I want to swear, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. So let's just keep it PG-13. Still, it is one of my all-time favorites. Literally, you should watch it, even though I think the mangaka died or something, so we don't have the end of the story. But it's really worth watching. Anyways, let me know if you want a video breaking down all of the relationship in that anime because it would be insane to go through them and analyze them. 
Next stop, we have Itachi. I know, I know. But listen, Itachi before, we know the reason behind what he had done. Okay? At that time, I was watching Naruto, not Naruto Shippuden. So, I was an eight-year-old in love with a mass murderer that killed his entire family. Nothing alarming there. But in my defense, look at him. Seriously? Look at him. I know, you cannot blame me for that. But anyways, I know you are loving my company right now. And you wish for this video to last forever. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. But I have to edit this. So, <laughs> no thank you. Subscribe and you will see more. Let me know if you want me to make a video about my healthy crushes growing up. That really, really made me see relationships differently. I really do have a bunch of those too. Yep, all fictional characters.